Hey, I just wanted to show you guys my old simulator setup really quick. Check this thing out. It's actually pretty badass. It's G25 Logitech, and I got that awesome gaming netbook by Gateway, and I even got a clutch on the pedals, dude. Baller! <laughs> What's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and today we're going to be reviewing my sim racing setup. I don't have room for a dedicated simulator, so I had to kind of hack together some things so that I get the best of both worlds. A really awesome simulator that's fully featured, and also still retain all the functionality I need to do to my day-to-day -day tasks. So, hang in there, let's pull this thing out and have some fun. Alright, let me show you how I set this bad boy up. It's really easy. I just go over and grab it, and I slide it across the carpet because those furniture sliders I put on the bottom just make it effortlessly glide on the carpet. Now, it might depend on what type of carpet you have, but I'd imagine this would work just as well on just about anything. And I just slide it right up the desk into place, line it up with the center monitor, and that's all there is to it. Well, this behemoth doesn't work without electrons, so we have to plug in a couple of things. There's the power adapter for the USB hub that all the USB devices are plugged into, and there is the power for the force feedback unit on the Thrustmaster T500RS. Oh, and don't forget to plug in the USB cable, because like I said, this thing ain't wireless. And last but not least, if you fancy yourself a butt massage while you play your simulator, then you probably should plug in the butt kicker, and that's just a single cable that you plug in on the other side. Alright, our simulator's all plugged in and ready to use, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other components on this beast before we actually sit down and play with it. The most important component is probably this Thrustmaster T500 RS steering wheel that I have here, and I have a hub adapter on it with a real Sparco racing wheel I purchased from 425 Motorsports. I swapped out the stock pedals that came with the Thrustmaster T500RS with these Fanatec Club Sport V2 pedals, and I am amazed with them. A lot of people complain about some sticking problems and other things, but I haven't had any trouble with them, and I love the load cell based brake. You can really just stand on that thing as hard as you want. And here we have the Thrustmaster TH8 shifter. I absolutely love this thing. Right now I have the plate installed on it to make it a sequential shifter for iRacing, but you can also change out the top plate to make it a six speed manual. It completely kicks out. And here we have the butt kicker audio transducer, which is connected directly to the frame of the simulator. This thing's sole purpose in life is to make you feel like you have to pee the whole time you're playing the game. Trust me, it's not as bad as it sounds. You should pick one up. And here's the dedicated amplifier sitting up on the desk, which drives it. Oh yeah, you also need a wireless keyboard, because it's really hard to reach the one on the desk when you're sitting in the simulator. This is another cool little thing I do. I have this fan under here, it's like one of those squirrel cage type fans, and it just keeps a nice breeze going under my desk and over the simulator, so when I'm playing a racing game, I don't get all hot and sweaty. Alright, depending on which game or simulator software I'm using, I might get a little hardcore and add a couple other things to the simulator. Like for instance, here I have my fourth generation iPad that I have on my custom mount. I have a video on how to add that to the Aboda Revolution, you can check the description for the link. And I also add an iPhone right behind the wheel so in my line of sight I can see my shift light and what gear I'm in and my RPMs. It's actually really, really cool. Alright, at this point you're probably asking yourself, why did he strap a bunch of iOS devices onto a simulator? Well, I'm going to answer that right now. As you can see in this video right here, I have my tachometer, my shift light, and the gear that I'm in. And then over to the right on my iPad there, I have several gauges that I've laid out to show me like oil temperature, my fuel, uh, show me my RPMs, and again, duplicating some of the controls like the shift light and the shift indicator. Now, the software that's doing this is called iHUD, and it's released for iOS and Android. I'm obviously using it on iOS, um, but it allows you to keep all this telemetry handy and it all works in real time and it's over your wireless network so I highly recommend you give it a try. I recently found a piece of software called IRDDU by DevShed and it allows you to do similar things to iHUD. It's not as configurable but as you can see I have all my gauges up above in full screen so now I can literally look anywhere and see what my RPMs and gears are at a glance. It's awesome. See from my point of view. Go ahead and shift. Now we're in second gear. Brakes. Anyways, you get the idea. So let's go ahead and uh, set this up and turn some laps.
ahead and turn the audio down so you guys can actually hear me. So I can see right here I got my RPMs up here. I can see all that same information. The nice thing about this, this is more in my view. Oops. It's hard to talk and do this at the same time, see if we can catch it. There we go. But this is nice because this is more in my field of view. So I can look up there and get a really quick look at what gear I'm in. Now this video is just to showcase my simulator and uh, some of the software I'm running with it to get it compatible with my iPad and my iPhone and also to use this software up here so that my fourth utility screen is useful to the simulator. It's funny, it's like almost impossible to talk and not wreck. Um, so if you guys want to see me actually racing, which I'm not going to lie isn't much better than this, <laughs> um, go check out my other videos. I'll be releasing a couple more today also uh, with a set of Corsa. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick sit down and update on the simulator. It's the Oboto Revolution with a T500 RS Thrustmaster steering wheel with a hub adapter with a real Sparco racing wheel from 425 Motorsports. I've also got an iPhone 5 and an iPad 4th generation both mounted to the simulator. Now this mount doesn't come with the Oboto. I have another video you can go watch on how to install this. It's a mono prices mount. I've got a Thrustmaster TH8 shifter. Right now it's in sequential mode, but it can also have the plate changed to be a six speed manual. I've got the Fanatic Club Sport V2 pedals with the load cell brake and the, and the hinged clutch so it feels like a clutch in a real car and that's really really smooth and awesome. Um, I've also got my Logitech K400 wireless keyboard that I use while I'm sitting on the simulator. Now that's everything that's on, oh and the butt kicker, I also have a butt kicker with the amplifier, the BKA130C amplifier um, sitting on my desk over here and that gives me the rumble. Now I'm gonna try the Sim Vibe software here in a couple of days for you guys so you can check that video out also uh, when it comes out because that'll make the butt kicker more realistic and actually create the vibrations that I want and not just recreate the bass, which is what it does essentially. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? These are three Samsung 6 Series 46 inch LED edgelet HD TVs and yes, they are 46 inches. Up above me here mounted on the ceiling is a mono prices uh, a 1440p display, so 2560 by 1440 native resolution. It's an IPS panel, so it looks the same from all angles. And uh, it's all driven by two uh, GTX 680 for the win editions from EVGA for the graphics cards. And if you want to see my system, my, my build on my actual man cave system, go check out those videos. So guys, I hope this gave you a nerdgasm. This, is, uh, this simulator is awesome. I really, really enjoy using it. I love the way it turned out. I also love how modular it is that I can just take and sl easily slide it over and store it. And this is still my computer desk that I can sit and play other games like FPS. I can do my programming. Um, I can do virtually everything. So this is the most versatile workstation I've ever built in my life. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please leave your comments. Like, favorite, and subscribe if you liked it. Like, favorite, and subscribe even if you didn't like it. I'm just kidding. I know you won't do that. But uh, anyways, guys, uh, go check out my other videos. Hope you had a good time. Till next time. I don't know why this guy won't move his car. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys. Right. Our sim racers, they become sim racers. Uh, gotcha. So this is more of like actual racers working the opposite direction. They're yeah, kind of using it as a tool. Race car drivers sometimes, guys practicing tracks. Uh, also, guys for just entertainment, just having fun with their yeah. friends at home. They'll, they'll put maybe one or two of these in their game room and look at that races. Cars, and we think we make one of the best ones out there. And well, tell me this. So I got a little simulator.